So yeah, let's continue Waltz's route. The, the new best boy after debating with myself over whether he is my favorite right now. But I, I, I'm really enjoying his route so far. I, I hope it continues on the trend of like cuteness because it, it is very sickeningly sweetly cute. I hope people don't die left and right like they did in Fritz's route. <laughs> All right. So, oh yeah. Speaking of Varg, we're gonna be seeing Varg in a few seconds, I think, because I think the man walking towards us slowly is Varg. <laughs> The man starts walking towards us slowly. Waltz moves to stand in front of me. Princess, stay close to me. Good evening, Princess Lisa. I was right! It's the two best boys! Bark, 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 bark! <laughs> it's the wolf! And good evening to you too, Peter Pan. <laughs> The man drops into an elegant bow. Boink, boink. <laughs> this isn't the toast game. No, the toast game is Atelier Sophie, which will be happening soon. So someday soon. Maybe like next month we might start Sophie, depending on how long it takes to beat a uh, machine for pigs. But it is on my docket. We will be playing the toast game soon. The sequel. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Varg. What do you want, Varg? How do you know who we are? Why are we barking? Because we see Varg and he's a good boy. He's a very good wolf boy and we love him. Machine for Pigs is like a five hourish game, I think. It's pretty short. Okay, so if it's five hours, then that would probably be 10 hours for me <laughs> because of how I am when I stream games. Uh, but yeah, we should maybe finish that this month. I'm guessing because you like to explore, it might take you seven to nine hours. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> so we might actually, depending, because it's going to be a main game. So I want to play it like at least every other stream that I do. So we might be able to do it in one month. What do you want, Varg? How do you know who we are? I'd love to stay and chat, but I have more important things to do. The princess is coming with me. Hey, 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 I'm done playing your route, guy. Don't you take me. I want to spend cute times with Waltz. Varg takes one long stride towards us. <laughs> Plus two to three hours in Elio's taxes. Yep, me getting distracted talking about things. <laughs> He taps the cane he is holding onto the ground. A surge of light emanates from the cane, then flares out towards us. Is it me or does Elia like characters with their names that starts with a V? Do I? I know I like Varg. Is there... Are there any other characters I really like whose names start with V? I can't remember. Princess, go back to the marchin. Hurry! And if you give me the heads up when you're streaming, I'm happy to continue giving the content when needs. Oh, thank you! I, I will be all for when telling you when I'm gonna stream then. <laughs> it's because he's a VTuber. <laughs> well, it starts towards Varg before I can stop him. Hi, I'm VV Twy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Varg raises his cane and twists it in one sharp movement. The light abruptly changes direction and slams into Waltz's side, throwing him some distance away. Waltz! So it is not because he is... sus? Huh? What do you mean? Before I can step away, Varg is lifting me into his arms. He grins at me, almost wolfishly, before diving away from Waltz. Don't make me convert back to you, Varg. No. <laughs> I'm Varpy. <laughs> No! Damn, I wish I was Waltz right now. Damn, I wish I was Lisette right now. <laughs> Princess! <laughs> Jackie! <laughs> Big mood, though. Let me go! No can do, Princess. I let you go and things will get messy. What do you want from me? Are you a... I cannot even say the word. 
My blood runs cold as I reconsider the situation. Oh, woo! <laughs> woo! Are you a witch? That I am not. And you expect me to believe you? You just use magic back there. It's a curse. I guess I did. Let me go! I squirm in his arms, attempting to kick and push him away from me. Varg abruptly stops with a grunt to let me down. Varg sure isn't a witch, but he sure isn't too deep. He sure put a spell on me. <laughs> and now I'm his. <laughs> this is my chance. I start to bolt away from him, but he quickly grabs my wrist and pulls me back. Not so fast. Get your hands off of me! I'm not here to hurt you, princess. After what you did to Waltz? He leans in towards me until I, until he can look me in the eyes. Well, he was in the way. Besides, it's not like I killed him. Bike begins walking again, this time pulling me with him. I try to break away from his iron grip but fail. Where are you taking me? Back to where you truly belong. I ain't going to live with my mom. No. No, after what she did to those birds? No, fuck my mom. If there's one thing I've learned from the fairy tales, it's that a princess belongs in a palace. I'm unable to stop the gas that leaves my lips. He stops and turns to me. If someone called me princess while grabbing my wrist, I'd fight them. <laughs> <laughs> right? You've been away from home for too long, princess. Don't you want to go back? I... I do want to go home, but I'm not welcome there anymore. At least, not while I'm still cursed. Release her! Oh no, not the mama! <laughs> the mama? <laughs> Nani? Vlog releases me just in time to block a sword strike that comes out of the darkness of the trees. You want me to do what to Lucette's mom? I mean, if I have to, get you. Try! No! No, y'all, y'all! No, 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 no mamas. No mommies. No, no Lucette's mom. I thought, I thought we talked about this before during <laughs> Fritz's route. That she should not be simped for, that she is a terrible person. <laughs> and that Varg is right here. How annoying. Oh, it's Karma! I could say the same thing about you. Oh, that's right. We don't know about Karma, like, being male yet in this route. I back away as the two trade blows. Varg uses his cane to defend himself against the man that just emerged from the trees. That man. Well, I, I have to go fun errands, run errands with my own bird mom. I gotta bounce, have fun Cinderella in those phenomenons. No problem, have fun running errands. Have a good day, Harpy. It was nice seeing you. Choo -choo. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> He's the one who was with Waltz, the man with the sword that helped save me from bandits all those months ago. <laughs> mom, <what? laughs> There's something graceful in the way the man moves as he swings his sword at Varg. He almost looks like he's dancing. The stranger continues swiping the sword, eventually gaining enough leverage to force Varg back. He moves so quickly that it takes all of Varg's reflexes simply to block his slashes. They're so fast. Varg takes a few steps back and keeps a safe distance from the stranger. Impressive. The man gives Varg a lopsided smile as he points his sword at him, the two of them temporarily frozen as they each wait for the other to move first. You're not too bad yourself. Wait, is that... Now that he's stopped and I have a better look at him, I can see that the stranger's features are uncannily similar to Karma's. Karma? But is it really him? Princess, are you okay? I turn my head to see Waltz and Dolora rushing towards me. How did you find me? Dolora used her magic to track you down. Thankfully, no other witches beat us here. 
Walt halts in front of me while Delora advances towards the two men. There's the real mommy! Yeah, you guys can sim for Delora, okay? <laughs> mommy, mommy, mommy. So, what do we have here? Delora, right? Can't say that it's a pleasure to meet you. I have to compliment you all. You did an impressive job hiding the princess from us. It took a while to finally track her down. Finding your so-called tavern was so difficult, you know? But I got lucky. How does he know about the tavern? Elio, if it were Delora, I wouldn't have said, I mean, if I have to, I would have said, yes, please, any day. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> No sooner are the words out of Varg's mouth that the swordsman is suddenly upon him again post attack. I also like how that implies that, like, you feel like, oh, if I have to simp for Lucette's mom, then I will. <laughs> I may be a simp. That's it. <laughs> Varg blocks his sword a second too late and is forced to back away, clutching his now bloody arm. You talk too much. Sorry, I shouldn't have forgotten my manners in front of royalty. Oh, he knows about karma, huh? Varg's gaze turns to Delora, a smirk somehow still on his face despite his injury. You have quite an interesting bunch with you, witch. How about joining us instead? We could always use more witches like yourself. <laughs> I'll join you any day, baby! Thanks, but no thanks. Too bad. That's basically it. I can simp for Lucette's mom if necessary, but whether you want me to or not, I will simp for Delora. We'll see you. <laughs> if you simp for Delora, I'm 100% I'm okay with that. I mean, she deserves to be simped. I mean, just look at her. Just... <laughs> it's what she deserves. We will all become her footrest. Varg turns to look at me. He holds out a hand and gestures me towards him. Come with me, princess. You know you don't belong here. I clench my hands into fists as I shake my head. Your mother won't be very happy with your decision, princess. Especially after all she's done to make sure you'll be a suitable heir. Oh, so... It is like... Her mom, like, revived in this route? Because I remember we had to do the thing with, like, the crystal in Fritz's route to bring her to life. So, huh. Mother? What are you talking about? But Varg ignores me as he raises his cane. Elio, why do people think I like feet? Also, Elio, we will all become her footrest. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get stomped on by her, okay? That's not like a, that's not like a feet fetish thing, <laughs> right? I'm not, I'm actually not so sure, but like, I don't <laughs> Feet cam! How dare you? <laughs> I'm glad it's unanimous. Oi, 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 oi. Okay, you want me to put my feet on the table? How disgusting. That's not sanitary. You're staring at feet height. <laughs> it makes sense. Oi. <laughs> Sorry to leave the party so quickly, but I'll be back soon enough for you, princess. Next time, whether you like it or not, you'll be coming with me. Ooh, this, like, stuff that I put on my ankle really helps, actually. Like, like, oh my god, I'm like, I, I hate talking about it because you guys are talking about feet right now. But, like, I was moving my feet around just now and, like, I'm not feeling the same pain as I did, like, a few minutes ago. Like, okay, like, I, I still feel, like, a little bit of pain, but it's not as bad, so this stuff really helps. The perfect height to interview a set of piggly wigglies. I'm gonna interview the pigs from Amnesia. <laughs> I'm not done with you. 
Yeah, come back here, Varg. I gotta kiss you. Kiss. Dolora throws her hands out, beginning to gather light in her palms. But Varg has already brought his cane down on the ground. It's not a party without you, Varg. <laughs> yeah, come back, Varg. Join our party. Thick smoke envelops the area, making my eyes water. When the smoke clears, Varg is gone. Dolora huffs in annoyance as she lowers her arms back down to her sides. To think that those witches are using a human to do their dirty work. What was that cane he was carrying? I look up at the stranger who has sheathed the sword and is walking towards where Walt, Dolora, and I are standing. Oh, thank you for the hydrate overtaker. Also, that's a good reminder for me to do the, the Twitch alert. Because I forgot to do it for this game. Alright, thank you. Ah, I'm drinking some A&W cream soda today. It's really good. <laughs> it's an enchanted item. That cane has been infused with a spell that allows Vogue to use magic. Limited magic, but powerful enough to make him dangerous. Well, it is far easier for a human to explore the kingdom without anyone getting suspicious. The stranger stands close enough for me to get a proper look at his face. I can no longer deny the resemblance I saw earlier. Karma, is that really you? Yeah, I put my hair up in a ponytail, how could you tell? You have good eyes, darling. So, this is what Karma looks like as a man. Why does he need to disguise himself as a woman? I open my mouth to ask the question when I'm interrupted by Walt's hand on my shoulder. Are you hurt anywhere? I turn to Walt and freeze when I notice the dried blood on his forehead. Oh, You're bleeding! I'll be fine. I step back and realize that Walt is standing, standing oddly, favoring one leg to the other. Oh, did he sprain his leg? Fark must have badly hurt him. I don't... Okay. I don't think we should say you shouldn't have come here. Because I think that will upset him, right? Because, like, he wants to be here for us, kind of thing. So I think we should say we have to go back now. I think that's the right course of action. I frown as I study Walt's wound. We have to go back to the march end now. Sounds legit? Alright. You need to have your wounds checked. This is nothing. I'm just glad you're not hurt. Stop worrying about me. You're the one in need of medical attention. FYI, I will clip the feet thing when I can. <laughs> no! Also, it's been a while since we did the feet cam, so I, I can go back to normal, right? Yeah, it's been four minutes. I can go back to not showing my feet. There we go. <laughs> I cannot keep the edge from my voice when I speak. Walt's expression fails, falls. I'm sorry, princess. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Walt's expression suddenly twists as he doubles over, his eyes glazed in pain. Are we gonna get like a CG where we like nurse him back to health? I would like that. Walt! Dolora catches one of Walt's arms, supporting him as she turns to address both Karma and I. We should return to the march end. Rumpel needs to see to Walt's injuries. Rumpel? Yeah, cause Walt Rumpel is a doctor. I'll explain everything once we're back. Welcome back home, Okari. Dolora calls to Rumpel as soon as we arrive at the march end. When Rumpel enters the reception area, he's clearly distraught by Walt's injuries. Lucette sure is out of the loop with everyone in this room. <laughs> yeah, like, it's chapter 5. I would have thought by now she'd, she'd kind of know everyone's deal, but I guess not. <laughs> what happened? Heal first, explain later. I expect Rumpel to object, and I'm surprised when he does nothing more than nod. 
Carefully, Rumple leads Waltz back to his room so he can be treated. Delora looks in the direction Rumple and Waltz have gone with a thoughtful look on her face. Oh, I am curious. So, like, I'm just double checking something. Like, most of the chapters in this game are like 10 chapters, right? Yeah, so we're at like the halfway point for his route already. Wow. Yeah, hasn't it already been months, LMAO? Right? We're lucky that we have Rumple here with us. Ennis is good with herbs and small wounds, but Rumple has experience with more serious injuries. Experience? What are you talking about? Remember his curse? Rumple is not the only one who does not remember who he is. None of the townsfolk remember his name either. But what about those with the curse? Shouldn't they at least be able to remember his name? Rumple is an exception to the rule, as he is with many things. In his case, not a single person can remember his name. Huh, no crystal? Oh, did I choose the wrong one? Let me see. It was right here. Wow, did I choose the wrong one? I had to. It's my fault Varg got to you in the first place. My god, this game's logic, I swear to god. <laughs> Why? I don't want to be mean to Waltz. Like, he went through all this for me. I don't want to say you shouldn't have come here. But I guess he likes him at least. Waltz forces a smile, but I can see the sadness in his eyes. I couldn't protect you at all. I'm so sorry. Why'd you keep worrying about me? I'm not even hurt. What if something happens to you? I know what's gonna make this more interesting. It's interesting, but more... Oh, I'm gonna speak in Uwu speak for two minutes. Okay, Uwu. Let's friggin' go. Oh, Walt smiles. He twice with great effort to mask his pain. <laughs> Okay, so this was the right one. Well, I'm happy that you're worried about me, princess. It doesn't matter what happens to me, so long as you aren't hurt. How can you say that? I... Oh, and then he falls and then he dies and then it's the end of the route. <laughs> Funny thing is, they can still recognize him. He ran into someone who called him a doctor today. Even just hearing it brought a memory back. Wait, who redeemed Uwu without the Shinny? A good person, that's who. So was a good person not redeeming that. He's got in one of the chapters of his journal back now. He's quite the proficient doctor. Doctor, get the defibrillator. Uwu. He collects his journal pages by retrieving memories from others that still remember him? What a strange course. My eyes wander around the reception area, and I notice that someone is missing. Where is Kamo? Don't worry about him. He's probably changing now. I do not understand why Kamo is so secretive about his reasons for wearing a disguise. I'm about to ask Delora if she knows any of the specifics of Karma's course when the door to the reception area is thrown open. <laughs> Princess! The, the, the defibrillator! I am surprised when Anna suddenly throws her arms around me. She pulls me into a tight hug. <laughs> Ooh, voice. Yes. Welcome, Kippies. Welcome to stream. <laughs> I am Uwu. I was so worried about you. Thank goodness you're safe. She pulls away and begins to wipe at tears that have sprung to her eyes. But why are you crying? I'm just so sad. I'm so happy, I mean. Because I was so worried about you, silly. She was really so worried she cried. Why? Because she cares about you, you stupid. I'm intensely aware of the awkwardness of the situation. Okay, I can talk in a normal voice now. <laughs> Think 
you for worrying about me. <laughs> Why is that so fun? <laughs> I thought the words might do something to ease her worries, but her sobbing only grows louder. Uh, Anis? I... I'll get you something warm to drink. I stare off after Annis before I turn to look at Delora worriedly. Did I say the wrong thing? Quite the opposite, actually. You made her very happy, Oh, I... did? But she was crying. Tears of happiness. They're called tears of joy, princess. I'd be overwhelmed too if you were suddenly nice to me. Miracles tend to bring people to tears. <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> what you said? <laughs> Who said? <laughs> Who <Uwu say? laughs> I just said thank you. And that was a kindness in and of itself. No wonder she's so happy. I was being kind? And congratulations, princess. I see that you've managed to complete your first good deed. My hand moves instinctively to my pendant. I clutch at the new piece that hangs there. I knew you could do it. Dolores smiles warmly. For some reason, it makes me feel strangely proud. Parfait walks into the room, startling us both. It's been two weeks since I last saw her. Her face is ashen. Are you an ashen wolf? Parfait. You know that continuously using your magic takes a toll on your body. Let me, uh, <laughs> give you some mana into your mana circuits by kissing you, Parfait. <laughs> I have no choice. The witches. Her voice trails off as her eyes meet Dolores. Parfait and Dolores look at each other solemnly. The tension in the room mounts as they continue to stare at each other without uttering a word. Wow, saying thank you is her first good deed. You're such a great person, Lucet. <laughs> that would be so funny. Like, she says thank you. Her, her necklace lights up. Oh my god, we never thought you'd ever say thank you. <laughs> Eventually, Parfait's eyes wandered to me. Keeping her in the room, keeping her in the dark won't make the situation any better, Delora. Parfait moves towards me, but her knees buckle. Before I can react, Dolores already at her side supporting her. The girlfriends. Parfait, you need to rest. I'll take care of this. No, she needs to hear from both of us. What's going on? We wanted to tell you about this later, but we can no longer afford to wait. Is our mom revived from the dead? Delora helps Parfait to a chair. I tentatively take a seat opposite the two of them. We're going to tell you the whole truth of the situation. The whole truth? Delora sighs before she eventually speaks. Do you know why I cursed you, princess? Some twisted sense of mischief? Yeah, the truth! We're gonna learn things! That's not the whole reason. We needed you to change your ways, princess. To change how you see the world. If we didn't do something, you are going to end up as merciless and cold-hearted as your mother. What are you talking about? My eyes go to Parfait, but she doesn't meet my gaze. Hildir, your mother, was not always so cruel. Parfait's eyes look wet as if she's about to cry. Why are you speaking as if you knew her? Cause they were best friends. She was my friend, long before she was the queen. Hildir was like a sister to me. But she changed when the witch hunt started and the Fire Nation attacked. What does the witch hunt have to do with mother? Parfait, Parfait is so good. I really hope she doesn't die this route. Parfait does not meet my eyes, but Dolores is looking right at me. Your mother was a witch, Lusak. The most powerful of the witches, in fact. 
Hildir was the Tenebrarum there. I hope both Delora and Parfait live. Same here. I hope, like, no one dies this route. Because, like, I think this is supposed to be, like, the canon route. Or, like, I think Walt is supposed to be, like, the main boy, so to speak. Like, he's, like, the poster boy. So I hope in his route no one dies. <laughs> my heart drops into the pit of my stomach. No, that's impossible! I've never saw her use magic. She cannot be a witch. That's what she wanted you to believe. You cannot keep something like that a secret. If you try hard enough, you can keep anything a secret. Even from your own family. But how? Parfait is perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Delora pauses for a long moment before she speaks. She erased her memories, Lucette. The air leaves my lungs as I struggle to remain calm. I mean, I, I think she'll be able to piece that together a bit better this route since she knows that, like, she supposedly knew Waltz, but, like, she has no memories of him. So, hopefully she's able to accept it a bit better, yeah. Waltz said that Mother ordered my memories to be erased, but... Are they saying that it was Mother herself who erased my memories? Jagged pieces of memory and thought begin to snap together in my mind. She needed you obedient and compliant. Whenever you acted out, she took that memory of disobedience from you, which are all the, the flashbacks in the game. And it didn't take long at all to mold you into a perfect and unquestioning little doll. I grip my dress without realizing. My hands are shaking. And then I did know Waltz. Mother really did erase my memories of him. How much of my childhood did I lose? Did I play Pokemon? I don't remember. Did I play Ace Attorney? Hey, this is really sweet. I get to experience Ace Attorney all over again. Hildur cherished humans before. She was kind and selfless. She was devoted to maintaining the balance between the Lucis and the Tenebrarum. But Hans... Oh, Hans Christian Andersen? Dolora moved to place a gentle hand on Parfait's shoulder. It's not your fault. I trusted him too much. Oh, because he was the one that wrote all the stories that made people demonize witches and stuff. He swore that they would only be stories. Small fantasies to share with his children. Hildir wanted to turn him away, but I disagreed. I allowed Hans to weave his tales about witches and fairies. The fairy tales? Dolora nods. Hans's fairy tales became hugely popular, and in practically every single one of his stories, it was a witch who was bad, and a fairy who was good. Dad insult to injury. It was well known that Hans had been welcomed by the Lucis bearer, but not by the Tenebrum bearer. Yo, he petty. Did he write badly because the Tenebrum bearer didn't treat him right? Wow. He really like, I'm about to commit LaBelle on you. Wait, it's not LaBelle. That, that's not like, what? what's the term for when you say lies about someone and spread it to people and then they can go to court over it with you? Because it like ruins their reputation or something. I forgot the term for it. The humans took that information and their imaginations ran wild. Hildir and I went to Hans to beg him to tell the truth, but it was too late. No matter what Hans said, everyone believed that he was being threatened by the witches. Yeah, it's LaBelle. Oh, okay, it is LaBelle. Okay. He about, he'd be like, I'm about to ruin these witches' entire career. I don't think he ever meant for things to get so out of hand, either. When the king at the time, your grandfather, also voiced his negative opinion on witches, he only added fuel to the fire. It was as if he was giving humans permission to carry on with their witch genocide. 
man, we could do nothing to defend ourselves. We were bound by our oath to never hurt a living soul. The witch hunt lasted for years. Most of us were slaughtered. I think LaBelle is when it's like, press? Defamation? Oh, that was it. Defamation. Yeah, LaBelle is defamation with a permanent record. I see. Oh, okay. All witches are bound to the Tenebrarum Bearer through the Tenebrarum itself. So I guess like, like LaBelle would be like if you made a tweet about someone and they go to court about it with you or like you wrote like a novel about someone and they, they take you to court, it would be LaBelle, right? Hildur felt each of the deaths like it was her own. It drove her mad. And she broke our oath. She killed the king, your grandfather. Mother killed my grandfather? So if I make a website called Elio Lappy wants now is P, that's not defamation because it's true. Why? I'm gonna take you to court over that. If it was false, it'd be LaBelle. <laughs> I'm gonna take you to court for committing a LaBellio. <laughs> As Hildur's power kept growing, more and more good witches were corrupted through her influence on the Tenebrarum. I tried to stop her, but she was already lost to reason. Hildur wanted to take on Giel for the witches. She wanted to take revenge on the humans for what they had done to all of us. But Elio could still sue you for defamation, and I sure will. Get yourself ready, Twy. You better get the best defense attorney around. Cause I got Edgeworth on my side. And since your father was next in line, he'll dare first Gennaro to marry her so she would have a legitimate claim to the throne. And she did it even though she knew he loved another woman. The very woman who sits on the throne today. Ophelia? Delora nods. The king has always loved... Ophelia? Oh my god, my tummy is growling. Ah! Hildur created the fairy tale curse to punish the humans. She wanted to fuel the Tenebrarum with their hatred and anger. But Faye's voice becomes very soft. The balance between dark and light was lost. While Hildur lived, Angiel was a place of fate. Let me let me eat like a, a potato chip real fast because my tummy's growing. Elio Edgeworth pursues the the truth, so he turns back on you. Okay, fine. I'll I'll get Manfred von Karma on my side then. <laughs> He'll, like, commit crimes so that he can win in court. That sounds good. I can feel an impending headache coming. But... Even if what you're saying is true, Mother is dead. She's been dead for four years. She is... She is. But for some reason, the witches are becoming more active. Our land and Jurian's patrols have confirmed this. Patrols? Is that why they disappear at night? I had to cast a glamour on you so that other witches would be unable to recognize you as the princess. But it seems like they've already seen through your glamour. They're looking for you, princess. The witches are looking for you. Eh? If you'd rather commit crimes to win a case, then... Doesn't that mean it's not a lie? Uh... Uh... I reserve the right to remain silent. Uh, my, my, uh... My defen- My, uh... My prosecutor is... Uh, giving me... These papers right now. Uh, I refuse to say anything else. Uh, I exercise my rights. As an American. <laughs> Even though I'm not on planet Earth, I still exercise my rights. Because I live in an American-made ship. What? Why? 
The Tenebrarum needs a bearer. A witch needs to take on that role and regulate the balance between the Lucis and the Tenebrarum. For the past few years, it's been in a state of hibernation. We believe Hildir infused her life into the Tenebrarum to keep it stable. But now, the Tenebrarum is beginning to wake again. Oh, is it because I'm about to turn 18? We believe that's why so many people are being cursed lately. That's enough. The court finds the defendant, Elio Lappi, guilty. <laughs> I could just, I could just hear the, like, sound effect from Ace Attorney from that, like, do 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 <laughs> the witches are preparing for the new bear. You know, you know something that Capcom should do, since they did the 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 Ace Attorney like a uh, collection thing and the the Great Ace Attorney and all that, and like put it on Steam. They should like release Apollo Justice on Steam because I would actually really like to stream that. <laughs> Delora turns to me with an expression I cannot quite read. They only have to wait until you turn 18. <laughs> the air in the room seems to disappear all at once. Princess, on your 18th birthday, your curse will break regardless of whether you complete your three good deeds. And you will become the Tenebrarum Bearer. You will inherit that title and that power from your mother. Impossible. My heart is racing and I feel faint. You know what they should do? Localize investigations too. That that too. They should do like a uh Ace Attorney collection uh number two and they can have Miles Edgeworth one and two and and was there a third Miles Edgeworth game too? I forget. And then Apollo Justice and then maybe one of the other Phoenix Wright games. It's like, or, well, they could just do three, right? Because the first one had three games. So yeah, bring bring the Miles Edgeworth games, translate number two, and also bring Apollo Justice with it. And then, yeah, bada bing, bada boom, Capcom baby. You get money, I will buy it. My heart is racing and I feel faint. Even if Mother was a witch, I can't use magic at all. No, just two? Oh, okay. I don't know why I thought there were three. <laughs> all halflings like you inherit their magic at 18. No, I'm human! Princess. Oh my god, stomach, shut up! Blech. Listen, I'll, I'll eat these chips, okay? Stop growling. There's Trilogy, Investigations, Duology, Apollo Justice, Dual Destinies, Spirit of Justice, Great Ace Attorney Duology, and finally crossover with Professor Layton. Oh, okay. That's a lot that's a lot less games than I thought there were. Sorry, I'm trying to satisfy my stomach for now. Thanks for rubbing it in, Elio. <laughs> well, Capcom just make more Ace Attorney games, Five Head. I may like the Ace Attorney franchise a bit. It is really good. Like, I really enjoyed the trilogy, and I really enjoyed Investigations. And I want to play Apollo Justice. But I'm not sure whether I want to, like, stream it or not. So I've been, like, conflicted on my feelings about it. <laughs> on whether I should play it or not. Like, on my own time. We've been watching over you for a long time, Lisa. We know what sort of influence your mother had on you. The curse was a test. We needed to know that you wouldn't return on GL to what it was when your mother was queen. 
We can't allow another great war to tell, tear Angiel apart. Dolor and I believe that there is still goodness left in you. You just needed a wake-up call. That's the curse and the three good deeds. We wanted you to see what you hadn't in years. To be exposed to the true reality of things. And above all, we needed to see that you were capable of three good deeds. Worst case scenario, play it yourself and stream Great Ace Attorney eventually. Oh yeah, because Great, Great Ace Attorney isn't connected to anything. Like, that was one thing I was worried about when I started playing Danganronpa, because I was like, I played the first two games. Should I talk about spoilers or should I not? And then in the end, I was just like, yeah, I'm just going to talk about spoilers, because like... <laughs> I attempted to grasp the fleeing thoughts in my mind, but to no avail. I feel numb. That's it. No more secrets. Her face voice is gentle when she speaks to me. The future of this kingdom is in your hands. Will you follow your mother's footsteps? Or will you achieve the same balance that we had before? Hmm. I will date Waltz. That's what I'm gonna do. No matter how much I try, I'm unable to sleep after my talk with Delora and Parfait. Mother was a wicked witch. And I'm the next bearer of the Tenebrarum. It all makes sense now. So many people hated me because they thought I would be just like Mother. I feel the weight of the truth crash down on me and it's suffocating. What am I supposed to do now? I turn to my side to bring my knees to my chest. Mm. How do I know what the truth is anymore? Suddenly, an idea occurs to me. There is one other person who might know the truth. Oh! I also just saw... Who sent me a treat? <laughs> Thank you for the, the healthy sandwich delivery. <laughs> let me... Let me go open up the gate. <laughs> Make sure that it's open. Give me one moment. I'm just gonna walk away. Walk away. I'll be right back.
apologies. Okay. Maybe my uncle isn't better. I thought, I thought the pain. Uh. Shit. Okay, I knocked over my. <laughs> I knocked over my. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Damn it. That was all of it. Is everything okay? Yeah, I was... Uh, Trying to get my foot up on my bed, but like my ankle is still hurting. Uh, so like my my foot like wound up uh, pushing uh, one of my cups uh, that I have on my table for drinking off, and it broke. So let me just. Make sure that I picked up all the glass pieces. Okay, is this everything? Oh no, be careful not to hurt yourself with the shards, yeah. Looks like I'm missing one more. Fall to look. Uh, give me one moment. I don't want to step on it. <laughs> oh, okay. It fell in here. Was that it? Sorry. I'm just double checking that I got all the the glass shards, so I don't like. get up and stab my foot in the middle of the night. <laughs> okay, let's see. Mm, sorry. Okay, yeah, that's all the glass shards. Luckily, it didn't break into too many shards. They're all pretty big chunks. Put this somewhere safer. Okay. Oh, but yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, my... Uh, <laughs> My ankle's not as good as I thought it was. I, I when I walked up and walked, uh, I was like, "Oh God, this is painful." <laughs> and I have work tomorrow. I already called in today. Oh, my 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 cousin actually told me I need to see a doctor. <laughs> oh, thank you for the head pot, Silver Taker. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna call into the doctor on, on Monday and uh, ask to get seen for my ankle because uh, this is painful. But yeah, uh, thank you whoever got me the food. I opened up the gate, so it shall be here soon. <laughs> it's all good. Take your time. Thank you. There's one other person who might know the truth. Waltz. Yeah, you might need to get that checked out. Yeah, my cousin said, she was like, if it's like that, you need to get it checked out. And I'm like, yeah. It's been like three days of feeling it, so. Should really get it checked out. I wonder how he's doing. I'll slip out of my room and make my way towards Waltz. One day, but what about tomorrow? Well, like, the, the doctor's not open on Sunday, so can't really 
get checked out then. I mean, I guess I could go to the emergency room, but I don't think it's that bad that I need to go to the emergency room. Walt is sound asleep when I push the door to his room open. He looks so small on the bed. I pause to look at the hefty amount of herbs lying on the table. Those herbs. I remember Annis once told me that they help with pain. Wimple and Annis had given Malt a lot of them. I thought about the truth of my mother retreat to the back of my mind as I remembered the encounter with Varg. Waltz would never have gotten hurt if it wasn't for me. Oh. <laughs> what kind of option is this? My eyes begin to sting. Should we cry? You know what? Yeah. You should cry, Alyssa. Let let your feelings out. Don't don't hold them back. For the first time in years, I let my tears flow freely. I don't even know why I'm crying, and I find myself talking aloud. You said that crying doesn't make a person weak. It, it certainly makes me feel that way. You're not weak, princess. <gasps> ah! Oh my god! ZG! Let's freaking go! Ah, oh, he looks so cute! Walt? When did he wake up? You're the strongest person I know. Walt's voice is soft and his words are slurred. He's clearly still under the influence of the medication he's been given, but he still continues to speak. Despite everything you've gone through, you're still standing on your own two feet. I cannot lie anymore. I've only been pretending to be a strong person. I cannot do this anymore. Knowing that all this time, I've been living a life full of lies. I'm questioning even my mother's affections now. Another dangerously gloomy thought hangs at the brink of my mind. If mother did not care about me, that means... No one did at all. No! Walt's cared about you! Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is so sweet. <laughs> God, Walt's is... <laughs> ah! I do. God! Walt's! Walt's is root, my goodness. He's so good. I care about you, Lucette. <laughs> Walt's voice begins to grow weak as his eyes flutter closed. You're tired, Waltz. You should sleep. Lucette. His voice is slurred and slow, but hearing him say my name without the title somehow feels... nostalgic. Please don't cry. Little star! <gasps> He's so good! I fucking love him! I see now why you were barking at Waltz now- Yep! <laughs> All aboard the Waltz fan train! Choo-choo! Waltz closes his eyes, finally surrendering to sleep. That must have been his nickname when they were kids, Little Star! I take a deep breath and leave his room, closing the door quietly behind me. Again! Again! Okay, okay. Abra? Kadabra? Teach me how to do it too! A magician never reveals a secret, little star. <laughs> you always say that. Please. 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 Just this one. Please, Walt! On your birthday. I'll teach you how to do it on your birthday. Promise? Promise? Oh, 
Look, they're so cute. <laughs> oh, right? This is so cute. The Miss Children. I wake slowly. The dream somehow still clear in my mind. A dream about Waltz? Was that a memory? I shake my head before I glance at the clock, stopping to stare at the time. How is it already this late? Princess? Waltz? The door opens and Waltz walks inside with a tray of food. He sets it down by my bedside as I stare at him in shock. You're finally awake. Waltz is the boy of her dreams? He really is, for real, for real. Waltz, you're supposed to be in bed. I'm only injured, not an invalid, princess. But... I'm fine, princess. It's not like you to worry so much. I respond to a smile with an exasperated sigh. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> He'll never heal properly if he does not stay in bed. <laughs> Here, I wanted to give this to you yesterday. Walt searches behind his back and pulls out a neatly wrapped box. It looks as if he pulled it out of thin air. Another magic trick? He hands me the wrapped box. What's this? You'll need to open it to find out. I can't- ah! He got her the doll that she wanted! Why are they so cute? This is... A story of a girl who cried a river and drowned the whole world. You've been wanting this, haven't you? I stared down at the doll he bought for me. It's the same one that caught my eye at the shop. The reason we went to the toy shop so that you could buy this for me? Yep, I'm glad it didn't get damaged last night. My chest tightens with emotion. These dolls are expensive. Waltz would have needed more than just his usual show tips to buy this. Why would you buy this for me? I figured you might want the extra company. Plus, you've always loved dolls, so I thought this one might cheer you up. <laughs> He's so good! I fucking love him! I stare at the doll as I cradle her in my hands, my heart feeling full in my chest. Thank you. I've never gotten an unexpected gift like this before. Holtz clears his throat, and when I look up at him, I notice that his expression is somehow sad. Lady Parfait told me that she and Delora told you the whole story yesterday. I have to apologize to you. For what? The reason why they didn't tell you earlier is because I asked that they keep it a secret. Oh. Uh... I look down at the doll, my mouth suddenly dry. Why? Because I wanted you to enjoy having a normal life. Even if it was just for a short time. Uh... Knowing the truth limits your freedom. I didn't want you to feel that pressure so soon. God, he's so good! I can see now that it was selfish of me to deprive you of the truth. I'm sorry. We stand a king! I clutch tighter at the doll, unable to look up at Waltz. Why would you be so kind without expecting anything in return? Because he loves you! Kindness doesn't always need to be paid back. When you do something for someone, you'll always expect the favor to be returned. That is what Mother taught me. From what I've experienced, no one is ever kind without expecting something in return. I don't expect anything from you in return, Princess. But how can I know for certain that you're speaking the truth? Well... You can't. No matter what someone's true intentions are, actions are always up to a different interpretation. So, it'll be up to you to judge their actions. Only you can decide whether or not to believe in me. I pull my knees to my chest, curling up around the doll. I still do not understand how you can be kind to me. 
You told me yourself it was a Tenebrarum bearer that cursed you. That means my mother. Your mother was the witch that took away my magic and sealed it in Neverland. But that does not mean it is your fault that I am cursed. You are more than just Hildir's daughter, princess. He's saying like all the right things. You are your own person, and I know for a fact that you are capable of more goodness than Hildir ever was. Waltz gestures towards my necklace. <laughs> He's meeting all of my expectations! You're only two good deeds away from breaking your curse. I would not have accomplished the first one without your help. In fact, I've done nothing to help you break your... My voice trails off as my thoughts begin to come together. Waltz, to break your curse, you need to find Tinkerbell and Neverland, right? Well, what do they look like? Neverland is a gold box with a carving of wings on the top, and Tinkerbell is the matching key. I sit up abruptly. We have to go to the palace. Waltz stares at me, his expression clearly perplexed. What? Why? Because I know where to find Tinkerbell in Neverland. Yeah, because she had it in her room. Is it bad that I don't want him to, like, have the curse break? Because I, I actually kind of like him. Like, in this form. <laughs> Walt's description of Neverland and Tinkerbell was enough to jog my memory. Like, he's cute. A long time ago, Mother gave me a box and a key that match Elio or that match Waltz's earlier description perfectly. She gave me strict instruction to hide them in my room and to never let anyone else have them. <laughs> what? What do I? I'm sorry. I know it's bad for me to not want him to have his curse broken, but he looks nice in this form. Lisette wants to be with Waltz without the police sussing her. <laughs> okay, that's true. I never questioned Mother's orders and kept both the box and key tucked in one of my drawers. I'd forgotten I even had those things until Waltz mentioned them. The minute I remembered, I sent a letter to Rod requesting he help us get into the palace. Officer, I can explain he was cursed, no! I knew that our strained relationship would make it harder for him to trust me. So, I emphasized the importance of the item we needed to obtain. A week later, he finally came through. Now we're just outside the palace, waiting for him. Jorian and Garland are here to protect us in case the need arises. I glance at Waltz, who's standing beside me, fidgeting. He's been against me coming with him ever since he found out my plans. He cannot stop me. I refuse to be left behind. You still won't change your mind about this, princess? You know the situation with the witches. It's not safe for you to be here. It is not safe for me anywhere outside the march, and, and you know that. Besides, how do you plan on finding Neverland and Tinkerbell without me? I'm the only one who knows where they are. Like I said, if you would just tell me where they are, I can go on my own. There's no need for you to put yourself in this much danger. I am going, and you cannot stop me, Waltz. <laughs> Princess. I turned to face him fully. This is my choice, Waltz. I want to do this. For a moment, there's silence between us as Waltz studies my expression. He eventually sighs and shakes his head. Alright, I'm gonna check to see if the food came, because my, my phone is shut off, so I, I can't get, like, the text letting me know that they're here. So I'm gonna, like, kind of regularly go out to check and see if it came in or not. <laughs> okay, it's not here yet. Not yet, not yet. Watch out with your ankle though, yeah. But it's all good, it's all good. 
I'll probably put, I think I'm gonna put an ice pack on it later. Or not ice pack, a heating pad. Well, like it is an ice pack because I don't actually have a heating pad. So I, I heat up my ice pack and use it as a heating pad. <laughs> Yo, what's good? Hi, Diamond Drago 334 It's going good? Just enjoying dating Waltz and Cinderella phenomena. He's really sweet. And yeah, having a pretty good day other than my ankle hurting. <laughs> How's it going for you? I should know by now that there's no change in your mind when you're determined to do something. Just promise to stay close to me, okay? Let's hold hands, then. I nod absently as I feel around in my pocket for a small object. A vial that Parfait gave to me before Waltz and I left for the palace. She said that it should help us when the need arises. I have no clue what that is, lol. <laughs> I'm good, just going around talking to small streamers. Well, thank you for popping in and talking. Yeah, this is like a... It's like a visual novel... And like a, a world where people get put on under like fairy tale curses that are like related to the fairy tale. Like Lucette here is the princess of like this country, and she gets the Cinderella curse put on her, so she goes from riches to rags. And like she like dates these other boys that that have like curses put on them, and like each route she tries to break their curse while also breaking her own. And then there's like some intrigue with like a war between like the fairies and witches and humans and stuff. <laughs> Sounds interesting. She's pretty though. Yeah, Lucette is a really good protagonist. Like she, she's like, she's got a really good personality on her. <laughs> she's like a, a Sundere kind of uppity, but I kind of like that about her. <laughs> it is a shame that neither Parfait nor Dolora could be here due to their urgent meeting with the fairies. Jurian and Garland finally arrive with Wa Rod. Ready? Win-win, pretty and good personality. Hell yeah. Oh, thank you for the here. Your bunny ears, overtaker. La 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 la. Okay, she's interesting. Saying she's good is a strong word. I mean, <laughs> she, she did a good deed already. She, she can do more than one good deed. <laughs> Lucette, what do you mean thinking is a good deed? Last name is not the best person. Okay, she's not, but she, she's getting there, okay? She's getting there. <laughs> Character development. <laughs> I can only nod and reply. Hopefully nothing will go wrong. Into the dungeons we go. I wonder if our mom's revived yet or not. We make our way through a secret passageway. I've heard of the secret passageway from the king before, but this is the first time I've ever been here. They say that this was built as an escape route, should the need to evacuate the royal family arise. Improvement is always good. Can't start with a 10. Exactly! The best kind of protagonists are the kinds that, like, maybe not starting off hating, but, like, Starting off with like this feeling like, eh, this guy ain't the best. And then like at the end, they improve so much that you're like, oh my god, they're, they're such a good character. Like, <laughs> like Tales of the Abyss with Luke, Haseo from Dot Hack. <laughs> I really like those pro tags. Go from like a 5 to 6 to a 10. Yeah! Only the commander of the Order of Caldera and the King know about this place. Rod, how do you even know this place? How did you get a key? I thought that only the King and Sir Alcaster had copies. I don't mean she's a bad character, I mean she has a bad personality at the start. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> but she'll, she'll get better. It was Lady Parfait who showed me this place and gave me the key. I can't leave the palace unattended on normal circumstances, so she suggested I go through here whenever I needed to get to the march in. Then, how was she able to get a copy of the key? Oh, what other things do you play? I like playing, like, RPG Maker games, like horror games, and visual novels, role-playing games, and also, like, games like Terraria, Minecraft, stuff like that. <laughs> I guess I like anything as long as the story is interesting. 
You can be an asshole and a good character. Cough now, yeah, cough. Exactly. See, you get it. You get it, Twy. See, that's why I stand now, yeah. <laughs> you should ask her that yourself. What kind of games do you like, Diamond? Anyway, you haven't even told me what you needed from your room. It's an item that will break Walt's curse. I see. Why did you take- why did it take you so long to respond to my letter? <laughs> maybe because... The witches are up to stuff, maybe? Or maybe he just didn't want to reply to you. Maybe you were mean in your letter. <laughs> I mainly watch Minecraft and Roblox streamers. I play Minecraft, Roblox, and Osu. Ooh, I've always wanted to play Osu. I, I have like one, one of my uh, friends that I went to college with plays Osu a lot. It looks really fun. I do like rhythm games. I play like a, uh, what was the game called again? Waku Waku Party? And then Project Diva, Project Sekai, Bandori. <laughs> it's hard as heck, my aim sucks so. Yeah, it's like, you, you gotta use like your mouse to, to keep up with it, right? I, I've tried it before a few times, but I'm, I'm really bad at it. <laughs> I, I'm more used to like tapping than like using my mouse. <laughs> The palace has been on high alert since last week. Why? Rod stops and looks at me. The hesitation is clear in his eyes. Did something happen? A week ago, the king received a letter. A warning. A letter? It said that three days from now, the king will be judged and convicted. His crown will be given to one more worthy. I stare at Rod with slow understanding. Three days from now? At that date, that's my birthday! That's when she'll turn 18. Your 18th birthday. So it's about us becoming the ruler. Yeah, it's so hard though. Yeah. I, I, need, to, I need to play more of it. <laughs> I want to play more. I should download it. I had it on my old laptop, but not on this one. I continue to stare at Rod in disbelief. This cannot be a coincidence. Can I ask a simple question for a follow? Yeah, sure, go right ahead. But, a new king? Do you think someone is specifically targeting my father? We all know that royals are always in danger. But this threat has made the king especially nervous. Are the witches involved in this? The silence that falls within the tunnels is heavy. Do you have any pets? If so, animal, breed, and name. I don't currently have any pets because I live with my uncle and he won't let me have a pet. But I used to have a pet. I had a cat and she was an American short hair with like a orange and white fur. And her name was Hello Kitty. <laughs> okay, then what's your dream pet? Oh, that's a good question. There's so many animals that I really like. like of course, I want cats, because I really like cats. I think cats are really nice pets, but I also want a bunny. And, like, if I could, I'd like to have, like, a fox. Like, y you gotta have, like, a really good space for a fox, though. But I would really like a fox or, like, a bird. Like, ooh, like a, a bleeding heart. Like a bleeding heart pigeon. That would be fun. <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> yeah, I like animals a lot, so it's hard for me to be like, oh, which one is my dream pet? But yeah, thank you for the follow, Diamond Drago. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Same here. I understand. <laughs> you like animals? What, what's some of your favorite animals? I know it's hard to say what some of your favorite animals are, but I think my favorite is uh, the African Spotted Dog. Those are really cool. <laughs> they think there's a good chance they must be. That's why the Order of Caldera is tied in security. A bun only in a bun? Finally, bun squared. Bun bun. <laughs> we continue walking in silence. Eventually, Rod points at something ahead of us. Can I just name my pets? Yeah, sure. I'd love to know about your pets. Here we are. The dim light of the tunnel illuminates a rusted door that leads into the palace. Rod looks around warily, while Waltz and I quickly duck into the shadows of a column. 
The guards will be doing their rounds on this side soon. We need to hurry. Right. The hallways are thankfully quiet as we traverse them. Rob did a good job of scoping out the times of patrol. Eventually, we reach my room. I stop at the door to my room, suddenly overwhelmed by nostalgia. It's been so long since I've been in my room. Is this Emmeline's room now? No. By the king's order, your room has been untouched since you were cursed. Then, what has become of this room? I look at Rod in shock as he studies the door to my room with a complicated expression on his face. I think maids are sent in here to dust occasionally, but otherwise everything should be just as it was before. But why would the king keep the room as it is if he does not remember me? Maybe he's got like, so, yeah, he's got like residual memories, kinda. Like, his memories may be er erased, but like the feelings are still there. I turn back to the door thoughtfully, then glance at Rod. We can handle the rest. You should leave before you draw any unwanted attention. I do not want you to get, to get you in trouble. Don't worry, we'll figure out a way to get back to that passage without alerting anyone. What? Sophie, female long-haired tortoise shell cat. <gasps> I love tortoise shells. Willow, female short-haired Siamese mixed cat. Scout, male blue healer dog and tater tot. <laughs> male Chinese dwarf hanser. Oh, that's so cute. I love that name, tater tot. <laughs> oh, you got some good pets. Those are some cute animals. That's a lot of animals, only four- well, yeah, I actually used to live in a house with someone that had, like, Peanut, Jasper, the blind cat, uh, mama cat, uh, uh, the dog, uh, I think they had, like, I think they had, like, seven cats and one dog. I used to live with someone that had seven cats and one dog. <laughs> I want two bunnies, a kitten, and another puppy. Well, ooh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Get all the animals. Please take care of them. Give them lots of love. A hamster named Tater Tot is top tier, right? That's such a good name. That's so cute. I really, I, I can't wait to get my own place so I can adopt some animals again because I really miss having pets. You've changed. What do you mean by that? You never would have cared about someone else's safety before. Rob turns to leave before I can respond. Be careful. Thank you. Carlin and I will stand outside. Make it quick. I nod at Jurian before turning back to the door and turning the knob. I glance at Waltz and he looks at me. I take a deep breath and open the door. Rod told me that my room had been untouched since I left, but I was not expecting it to be like this. You should take a look at a uh, Robo Dwarf Hamster. They literally look like a tater tot and they're like the size of one. Let me look that up. Robo Dwarf Hamster. Roborovsky Dwarf Hamster. <gasps> Oh, those are so cute. Oh my god, they fit right in the palm of your hand. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, adorable. Hold on, let me, uh, uh, rodent warning in case anyone is like, uh, sensitive to seeing like hamsters and stuff, but look at, look at them. Look at him! Adorable! Adorable! They grow like max two inches. They're so cute. They are so cute. What the heck? Hold on, let me... Let me look up something. Desert hamster. Smallest of three species of hamsters. This is the deserts of Central Asia. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my god, they're so cute in their little burrows! Oh! Oh my goodness! They can run up to six miles a night! Oh my god! I'm sorry. I 
I, I feel like I always get into animal talk during Cinderella Phenomenon. I think I talked about Tuataras and the African Spotted Dog during Cinderella Phenomenon too. Oh my god, they're so cute. Oh, adorable. And they're like naturally, they're, they're natural hamsters. They're not like, they're not like, uh, they're not like breeded to be small. That's good. That's good. Oh, they're so cute. Speedy chonky boys. Love it. I come here while you're playing a game and now we're talking about hamsters. You know, that, 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 that's, that is how it'd be. I, I get distracted a lot. Like, I think I still have images of other animals here from before. Oh wait, no, that's not it. I think I had like, let me see. Let me look in my... Look at my look at my folders here. Pretty sure I like <laughs> just share pictures of animals occasionally during stream. I'm like, oh my god, did you guys hear about the the tuatara? Yep, I see it. I see it in my files. <laughs> the tuatara, adorable. They also like the hardest to tame. Pretty feisty. Ooh, adorable. Tiny and deadly. To be fair, I don't even know how you even keep up with games and chat. <laughs> For real though, I freaking love lizards. Tuataras are adorable. Oh, and have you guys seen the the booby bird? They're so cute. The like the the blue footed booby. They're adorable. They're so cute. Hold on. Hold on. I need a. An, I'm sorry. It's animal time. Animal time. Animal discussion time. <laughs> Look at these boobies! Look at these boobies! They're so cute! Look at them! They're little, little, oh. They're little toasties! <laughs> They're so cute! Gotta go grab dinner! Oh yeah, I should probably check to see if my, my food came in yet. That That's a good cue for me to check. But yeah, have a good night! Enjoy your dinner, Diamond Drago! It was nice talking about hamsters and pets with you. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go see if my food came in. No, not yet. I turned the light on, though, so... Cause it was getting dark. I'll still watch while I'm eating. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw that there were red-legged ones. Yeah, there, there are red-legged boobies and blue-legged boobies. They're so cute. They're so cute. They're 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 endangered species. So, uh, we gotta we gotta save them. We gotta gotta make sure that they live. Cause they're they're cute. They're very cute. They're adorable. Rod told me that my room had been untouched since I left, but I was not expecting it to be like this. Nothing has changed. Not a thing out of place. There's even a speck of dust on the dolls on my shelves. There, or there's not even a speck of dust. So it's been getting cleaned. Lucette? I'm confused as to why this room has been untouched. Certainly the king would have thought to do something else with it. In the very least, he would not have maids coming in consistently to clean it. But I cannot let myself linger on the questions. I have no time for them. We came here to find Neverland and Tinkerbell. I look at Walt and nod. Let us start searching. Time passes, but I'm only able to find the key. The box is nowhere to be found. Not even in the drawer that I remembered putting it in. To think that you had Neverland and Tinkerbell this whole time. Have... Have you tried searching for it in my room before? I have, but I didn't find anything. She must have used her glamour magic to hide it from me. I stare at the key with frustration. So, okay. During Varg's route, uh, the, the key was like on the throne room because our mom took it. Did our, 
Did maybe Mithros take it this time? I'm not sure if our mom is revived yet or not. I don't understand. I'm sure it was here. This might actually be the way to manipulate her into reviving her mom, actually, by having the box and having her try to come and get it. Are you sure you didn't throw it away? No, I would never throw away such a beautiful box. It reminded me of Umi Neko. Besides, I keep most of my things. They are all valuable to me, even if they are not outwardly beautiful. <laughs> See, this is why we stand Lucette. <laughs> I wouldn't have believed you if I hadn't seen this. I leans down to pluck a puppet from one of my drawers. He holds it up with a smile, and I feel my cheeks heat in embarrassment. <gasps> Did maybe he make it for her? Aww. I just... I never remembered to throw that out. Waltz gazes at me thoughtfully. That's the only reason? <laughs> Well, I look at the puppet in his hands and find the truth spilling out of me. I was never able to put my finger on why, but I've always liked that puppet. A smile stretches across Walt's face. He did make it for her! You kept it even though I did such a bad job with the sewing. <laughs> Aww! What? Bork, bork, right? <laughs> Walt's a simp time. You made this? Yeah, this is the first puppet, puppet I ever made. Waltz turns the puppet in his hands, looking down on it fondly before his eyes meet mine. You were the one who taught me how to sew it in the first place, you know? What? I was the one who taught him how to sew? I stare at the puppet. I probably kept it because you made it. How cruel. Huh? Do you have any idea what you're doing to my poor heart? <laughs> you seem perfectly fine to me. Waltz shakes his head and sighs. Waltz? So dense. <laughs> He's in love with you, Lucette. What? The knot begins to turn. Waltz and I exchange glances before we both dart to different hiding places. Oh. Uh-oh. I hide myself under the bed, and he runs behind the curtains, which more easily conceal his smaller body. Oh, it's our dad. The king? What is he doing here? When the king steps inside, I notice that there's something in his hands. The box. That's the box, but why does he have it? I look at Waltz and he gives me a small nod, affirming that it is indeed Neverland. Who's there? <laughs> Show yourself now if you don't want to get hurt. The king unsheaths his sword. What should we do? I look at Waltz who signals at me to stay in place. He mouths something, and I think he might be saying that he means to find a way to get us out. Is Waltz going to sacrifice himself again? Will he be alright? Should I trust him? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I feel like I should reveal myself, right? Like, he, he knows of us. He knows us. Like, he gave us, like, the, the money and stuff before. No, I cannot let him sacrifice himself again for my sake. Before Waltz can react, I slide out of my hiding place and stand in front of the king. Shouldn't you trust Waltz, though? Yeah, that's true. Okay, well, we'll see if I don't get the crystal. And if not, I'll, I'll reload. <laughs> the king's eyes widen as he looks at me. You're that girl from the gates. You remember me? It is more like I find it impossible to forget you. What? You have someone else here with you, don't you? My mind races as I try to think of what to do next, but Walt suddenly steps out from behind the curtain and bows. It's been a while, your majesty. Waltz. 
I remember then that Walt had worked for Mother, so naturally the king would know who he was. I haven't changed at all. That is unfortunately the case. The king's expression twists, sadness appearing in his eyes. I'm sorry, Walt. What happened to you is... There's no need to apologize, Your Majesty. I did the things I did in the past, knowing the possible consequences. What are they talking about? I have a lot of questions for the two of you, but the most important is why you are both in this room. Regardless of the fact that I know you, Walt, you have still broken into the palace. We would not have done it if we did not have to. I steal myself for further scolding when the king turns to look at me. That box you are holding. We need it to break Walt's curse. Why did you come to have it, your majesty? The king looks down at the box, as if only noticing it for the first time. Oh, maybe he got, like, magic put on him to, like, defend it or something? I... I was in this room the other day and noticed a chip on the side of the box. I took it to get it fixed. A chip? I did drop it once a while back, but did not think to get it fixed myself. Why would you do that? The king looks around the room, a faraway look in his eyes. <laughs> no matter what Lucette thinks, Gennaro really does care for her. Even like when he doesn't have his memories of her, he still like has this residual like fatherliness about it. Even if he was a bit distant, distant to Lucette. I think this is just saying that he always cared about her in his own way. This room is special to me, though I do not know why. <laughs> I feel like this room and I are both waiting for someone to return, and everything must be perfect for when they do. <laughs> you ever get like that feeling in your stomach? Or like you feel like you're gonna cry? I, I just got that feeling. <laughs> I feel my chest tighten, even as the king hops out a derisive lap. <laughs> my chest also tightened, Lucette. Same hat! What am I saying? He cannot miss me when he does not remember me. He can't. Right? But if this box is all that you require, Waltz, you may have it. This is the first route where we see his feelings for Lucette. Yeah, he was so distant before. But now we get to see a little bit of it. Like, I think he always was, like, distant from her. And there's a lot of factors that go into that, since she is the byproduct of him having to have a child with her mom, who, like, threatened him to have a child with her when he didn't love her. So that, that was one thing. And just, like, the whole tenebrarium and all that probably really made him awkward with her, but... I still think in the end, he still loves her, even despite all that awkwardness. If it is the least I can do after all that, you have done for us. The king holds out the box to Waltz, who reaches out to take it. Yeah, if it were Delora, he wouldn't hesitate, but he'll do it. <laughs> Are you talking about yourself? Thank you, your majesty. Look who we have here. Is this Mithros? We all freeze at the sound of the new voice. I turn and find an all too familiar figure leaning against the doorway. Mischievous grin on his face. Oh, it was my, I was like, it's either Mithros or Varg. What a sweet little reunion. Blake, 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 blake. <laughs> all right, back, I got the foods. Ooh, nice. Speaking of food, did you get yours, Elio? Yes, I am, Elio. Problem? No, no problem at all. No problem at all. I understand. I understand why you sent for Delora, because I too sent for Delora. But yeah, I'll, I'll go check. I'll go check to see if the food came in or not. I'll be right back.
time yet. I'll take it like maybe 20 more minutes. See if it came in then. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm back. Back to simping for Varg and Waltz and Delora. No food yet, but yeah, I'm, I'm waiting on a, a sandwich to get delivered. Varg? Oh, betrayals. Like K from Virtue's Last Reward? That bastard. Varg! At least you have your chips, yeah. <laughs> it, it'll come eventually. I told you I'd come back for you, didn't I? <laughs> Varg taps his cane on the floor, creating a shockwave of powerful energy that blasts us all across the room. The impact of the magic forces me against the wall. Ooh, what are you gonna do, Varg? You gonna force me against the wall? <laughs> I collapse to my knees, pain thrumming in my head. The king collapses somewhere nearby, and I hear the crack of the box as it lands on the ground a few feet away from it. <laughs> Horny bonk. Waltz holds out his hand. I take it, and he helps me back to my feet. Lucette, are you alright? How's street tacos? Where are you getting, Ellie? Ooh, street tacos. Oh, that's so good. I am getting uh, something that someone got me on Treat Stream. I actually forgot what sandwich I set up for Treat Stream. Hold on. It's been a while since I logged in. Let me see. What what am I getting? <laughs> let me let me log in real fast. Let me see. It is healthy sandwich with veggies and stuff. What is it though? Oh, it's. The Meltdown Talkin' Turkey Melt. The Meltdown Talkin' Talkin' Turkey Melt. That is apparently the name of the 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 sandwich. Talkin' Turkey Melt. What what is what all is in that? Uh, turkey, bacon, tomatoes, provolone cheese, sun-dried tomato, mayo, ungrilled artisan bread. That's what it is. Oh, that sounds really good. Oh, I can't wait for it to come in. I like a street taco nacho bowl. Oh, that's so good. Oh, I really want to have some tacos. We, we got like this really good taco truck like, uh, uh, like a block away from where I live. I should go get some when I come home from work. Shredded chicken beans, cheese, and nacho cheese Doritos. <gasps> nacho cheese Doritos, let's freaking go. The best kind of Doritos. Oh, that sounds so good. Oh, I can't wait for my, I can't wait for my sandwich to come in. I'm gonna dig into that, baby. What's that? Are you all right? E yes. Oh, nacho cheese on top. Oh. I wanna, I wanna like get like a, the, the like nacho chips and like make my own nacho cheese. Cause like my, my cousin used to make her own like nacho cheese. For like the, the nachos that we would have, it was so good. I remember there was like one night we had nachos for <laughs> one night. I got home from school and we all got around at the dinner table and like I I just like I was just like like Kirby. I was like sucking all the the like <laughs> the nachos into my mouth and everyone was like, oh my god, Elio. And like I, I grabbed like another bowl like while while people were still like munching on their their first one. <laughs> And they're like, wow, you must really like th these nachos. <laughs> Cause I'm not, I'm not a fast, I'm not a fast, uh, eater by any means. But when, when I like really like something, I will just like go to town on it. I eat like a rabbit because I am one. <laughs> yes. Lucette? The king looks at me quizzically, but his gaze does not linger. He looks towards Varg, his eyes narrowed. Not my cheese. Whose cheese is it? <laughs> it's not your cheese, it's my cheese. Did the king remember who I was? I need to treat myself with a taco and lots of jalapeno sauce. Yes, treat yourself. Your majesty, are you hurt? 
King shakes his head at Waltz before turning his attention to Varg. His eyebrows furrowed. Do you like any games on Roblox? So I've only played a little bit of Roblox because of uh, one of my friends really likes Roblox. I've been meaning to get more into it, but there was like this one game. I forgot what the name of it was, but it was like a it was like a pizza making game. Like you you go and like uh one one person can like deliver the pizza, one person like makes the pizza and like drives the car and stuff. I really liked that one. <laughs> Who is this man? Your Majesty, this person is working for the Wicked Witches. What? I really like something, I go to town on it. Are you gonna go to town on Devil Survivor? Oh, you know it. <laughs> you know I really like something if I go on like really long rants about it. Which is why I rant about animals a lot. <laughs> and Devil Survivor. <laughs> Wait. What happened to Jurian and Garland? They were just outside the door. Animals. Love animals. What did you do to them? I think one thing I really want to do actually, like I was actually looking into it uh, a, a little bit ago. I was looking at the 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 wildlife uh, foundation and stuff for like donations and stuff. Uh, I really want to like when I am like stable like with my job and stuff like where I don't have to worry about like losing my job and like not being able to pay bills because right now I'm in that situation right now because I'm waiting on my paycheck but when I am in a comfortable like like a uh, financial situation I want to do fundraisers I want to do like I want to do like uh the, the charities and stuff for like wildlife foundation and all that to donate for for animal conservation like i could do like a i could do themed streams around like certain animals like we could be like today we're gonna donate to like the the arctic hair and i'll have like a picture of the arctic hair in it and i'll play like a game with like with like bunnies in it and stuff like i think that would be fun <laughs> what did you do to them bark cocks his head to the side who? The guards just outside this door. I'm sure that they must have hid themselves when they saw the king coming to this room. But they still should have been able to see Varg coming. <laughs> you know, I really like something. I go on really long rants about it. New life goal. Make Elio go on a heated rant about me. <laughs> Which is why you were only eating chips, I'm guessing. <laughs> Arctic hair. Get the Arctic hair. The Arctic hair, H-A-R-E. <laughs> Guards, I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about, Princess. I do kind of someday want to do like another VTuber model specifically based around the Arctic hair. I want to get like a, a really nice and toasty like winter, winter jacket with like, like, like cause like the, the, the Arctic hair fur, like to, to survive the winter and stuff. Like a nice little wintry outfit and be like, yeah, that's my arctic hair outfit. <laughs> Varg seems like he's telling the truth, but I cannot trust him. Please, let them be safe. I have no clue what's happening in the game all. I joined not too long ago and have tabbed out multiple times. It's all good. If you want, I can give you like a, a summary. We are like halfway through the game and like on the last root of the game. If you're like a, a short summary. <laughs> it seemed Everland a few feet from us. I can try and grab it, but Varg will probably thwart my attempt with magic. I have to wait for an opening. I'll distract him. While I do that, the both of you need to run. What? I eye Varg. He looks at the three of us with his lips slightly quirked as if he's amused. It's fine, lol. I can normally catch on pretty fast. Okay. Halfway, my brother in Christ, you have like a tenth of the game left. <laughs> I, I got like four, four more chapters left. Four more chapters. So we might be able to finish it in, in two streams. Then I can start walking on a star unknown. You should hop on Roblox sometime and I'll join you. Ooh, okay. I, I do think that would be fun to do like for like a stream playing Roblox with people. <laughs> Oh, speaking of, I do want to play Terraria again sometime soon. So, 
for anyone that was watching Terraria last time and was like, I want to play Terraria, but I didn't have it installed. Here's your warning to install it so I can play with you. <laughs> this isn't the time to argue with me, Lucette. Okay, okay, okay. I won't argue with you. I won't argue with you, Waltz. I will listen to you. Ter terraria. It, it's Terraria? Okay. Now now I'm conflicted because last time I last time I streamed I said Terraria. Terraria. And people are like, no, it's Terraria. <laughs> what one is it? Okay, let me listen to him. Did you get the crystal early? Oh wait, I don't think I did. Nice catch. Nice catch. Yeah, I'm finishing two streams and you started like in November? I think so. I think I started around that time, so it would be like a on the the yearly anniversary I finish it. <laughs> I nod at Waltz. He steps out of the curtains and raises his hands in surrender. No, it's not. It's terrar terraria. It's terraria. Okay. Now, now I'm gonna make fun of the people that told me to say it's terraria. <laughs> it's terraria. I was right. Forgive me, your majesty. Also, let me, let me check. Pa Paragus bunny boy? What is Paragus? If you hear wrong, you're incorrect. Make fun of him. I will. I will. Hi, Elgato. The next time I see you in chat, I am making fun of you. All right. But I'm going to go check on my food. See if it came in yet. Yeah, that food sure is taking its sweet time getting here. That that turkey melt better be good. <laughs> According to Google, both are correct. Oh, okay. I guess it depends on your uh, accent. I guess American ter terrar ter terraria British terraria. Oh, okay, so like if you're American, it's Terraria, and British, it's Terraria? I see, so America stays winning. <laughs> Oi. Also, how's it going, Vine? I know you. You were Hildur's apprentice. Waltz, was it? I remember then that Waltz had worked for Mother, so naturally the king would know who he was. It's been a while, your majesty. I'm honored you still remember me. You haven't changed. Not at all. Now, an American, every, and ev I'm American, and everyone here says Terraria. <laughs> so, Hildur really did curse you for betraying her. Hello, hello, Bun Bun. Hi, hi. How's it going? You doing all right? Betraying her? Betraying her how? Right, but at this point is... But but the point is both are correct. Yeah, okay. Well, maybe I won't make fun of people that told me to pronounce it the other way. To pronounce it Terraria. The king places his sword back in its scabbard. I'm gonna go for a bit. I'll be back in like maybe 20 minutes. Okay, see you soon. I have no idea what you're doing here now, but... The king surprises us both by getting down on one knee and bowing to Waltz. Your majesty, you shouldn't... Going well, Pog of the Champs? <laughs> nice, nice! How, how, how? Whoa, 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 whoa. I never said not to make fun of them. Making fun of people who are also correct is like the most fun thing to do. <laughs> wow, Twy, you're so lame! You're right about the Monty Hall Pi Python Hall problem? Wow, look at this loser. <laughs> you did so much for our kingdom, Waltz. So, thank you. We owe you your lives. If only all witches were as good as you. The king stands once again, his posture stiff and straight. 
That's why Elio likes making fun of me, because I'm objectively correct about everything. No, that is not why I make fun of you. You are not objectively correct about everything. <laughs> you loser. There are more of us than you think, your majesty. Call it Monty Python Hall Problem. I meant Monty Hall Problem, but... You know, you know how my brain be. I'm lost. What are they talking about? You're lucky I used most of my points for shinny mode yesterday, though I don't remember why. Yeah, what did happen? Oh, was it the, the, was Terraria? No, Terraria, Terraria wasn't yesterday, was it? What was yesterday? What was I streaming yesterday? Was it Terraria yesterday? Wait, no, no, no. It was Virtue's Last Reward yesterday. My, my grasp on time is bad. <laughs> Don't give up a V3 and VLR. Okay, so there's probably something during V3. But yeah, let, let's not talk about V3 here. <laughs> I'm lost. What are they talking about? But I didn't do it for the kingdom. Maltz turns to look at me suddenly, a small smile on his face. I did it for her. Ah! Her? Who are you talking about? Waltz nods his head at me. It's all right, Lucette. I slide out of my hiding place and stand in front of the king. It's been months since I last saw him. Okay, let's skip forward. I don't remember what you said during V3, which made me redeem Shinny Mode. I'm like 99% sure it's something that is fine to discuss, but I can't remember. Yeah, you ju you just like bonking me. It's fine. Okay. Now we'll save over this one. And I think I'm gonna listen to him. Like, I don't, I don't actually know. Like, he says now is not the time to argue with me. So I'm like... I don't know. I don't know what is the right option here. I guess I'll just listen to him. I nod at him. Waltz extends his hand and snaps his fingers. Hundreds of flower petals suddenly appear in midair. Why are you bonking me? Why bonk me when you want to bonk Twy? There's, a, there's another redeem for that. <laughs> it is like being in the middle of a storm of flowers. Mark looks startled. He squints through the flowers. You think this little parlor trick is going to save anyone? Go! Let's go! I grab the king's hand and pull him with me towards the door. Not so fast. All right, I remember what happened. You were simping as usual and I bonked, but the bonk missed. <laughs> oh, that's right, I remember that. So I had to, like, get everything in order again because of that. <laughs> Bark strikes his cane against the floor once more, conjuring a strong wind that blows all the petals away and clears the room. You dare imply I'll bonk the twy? Oh, so it's fine for you to bonk me, but not twy, huh? Hmm? I would never do such things? Wow. Wow, you'll really bonk me, but not twy? Really. Really, no. Whoops. doodles <laughs> You know that I'm not letting you get away this time, princess. The king draws his sword and motions for us to stand between them. Since you said hi, you can't even bonk me correctly, so I redeemed shinny mode. Oh, that was it. <laughs> Elio, when Barnes said this bonk is for you, it meant for your sake, not you deserve a bonk twice. I was hoping it was that you deserved a bonk. God damn it. Father, his cane is enchanted. You cannot hold him with just a blade. <laughs> Bros before hose bun. Oi. Father? I... I'm at a loss for words. It's been a long time since I called him that. Much to my surprise, the king's lips pull into a soft smile. You said that at the gates that one day, when you were seeking an audience with me. I've not been able to forget that day. Before I can say anything in return, a familiar 
it, it, a familiarly smooth voice breaks the ensuing silence. You enter in every stream and redeem Bonk Chat indiscriminately. You hate us. <laughs> Twy is maidenless and butler, but but learnless. Barn wouldn't beat a dead horse. <laughs> I have done it many, maybe a few times. Blame ID for most of those routines. <laughs> Barn usually bonks Elio, not chat. Yeah, yeah. If if Barn could, like, do the the mod manipulation thing that we used to have with the bonk, to where it would redo all of the bonks again, Barn would do that. See, yeah. Look at that. Yep. Observe. Yep. There we go. Oh, I wonder where all these voices are coming from. It's the snake man. A familiar man steps into the doorway. He inspects everyone in the room quietly. Mithros. Okay. Let me... Oh my god, my stomach is growling. Please, food, be here. I'm gonna go check. I'm gonna go check again. I'm praying. I'm on my knees begging, please give me my sandwich. until I get my sandwich. We're gonna have a long stream until I get that goddamn sandwich. I remember the bonk Kamehameha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should we make a summoning circle for Elio's food? Yes. It was a good memory. This is worse than the other one. Only Burger King gets there fast, it seems. I guess so. <laughs> we stand Burger King. He's that king. Your Majesty. Quickly, summon the knights. We have an intruder in the palace. He gestures at Bark, who looks unperturbed. An intruder, you say? Sir Mithras turns to Varg. At first, his expression is impassive, but then slowly, his lips begin to edge into a sly smile. You're such a ruffian, Varg. Look at all of this property destruction. <laughs> Don't do that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. He's done it again. He has done it again. Give me a moment. God damn it. No! <sighs> Meme template. There we go. There we go. This is important, okay? There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Bun is literally telling people to go in the kitchen and make him a damn sandwich. Ignore the fact that he ordered a turkey melt. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a ham sandwich either. That what that healthy sandwich is? I didn't pay fully pay attention when Elio said what it was. Yeah, it's got like tomatoes, bacon, lettuce, uh, Let's let like, some nice veggies in it with some turkey and some cheese. Really nice, really nice. You know what else is nice? Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I can only gape at Sir Mithros in shock. 
If he knows Varg, then he's most certainly affiliated with the witches. You know this man. Explain yourself, Mithros. We are all thrown off guard by Sir Mithros' laughing. Soon, his laugh becomes a mad cackle. There's a strange brightness in his eyes that sends shivers down my spine. My apologies, your majesty. I'm just amused at my servant's atrocious behavior. At to use, Varg. So Mithras gestures at Varg, a silent command to lower his cane. You know what else is nice? Start standing up. Dwayne the Rock Johnston sits down and turns off every device. <laughs> Varg obeys him before moving to a corner of the room and leaning against the wall with disinterest. Don't worry, your majesty. You're not the one we're after. What? Sir Mithros turns a sly smile on me and I instinctively take a step back. The princess is the lady we need to escort. Talking about veggies reminds me of the overwhelming subway moment I had earlier this week. Oh, what happened? <laughs> what was the subway moment? Escort. Princess. This girl is a princess? That is correct. It is a shame you can't remember your own daughter, even though she stands right in front of you. So hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check on something real fast. Let me see. Let me look up the place that, okay. Delivery. Oh, it's open 24 hours. Okay, we're good. I was worried. I was like, maybe they didn't deliver it because they closed, but no, they're open 24 hours. So, wow, I didn't know, I didn't know that we had like a, a sandwich plate. Oh, it's in Denny's. Oh, okay. It's like, what? It's located in like a, place within Denny's. Oh, huh. Yeah, it's open 24 hours today. Okay. So I don't have to worry about not getting the, the sandwich. That is correct. It is a shame you can't remember your own daughter even though she stands right in front of you. Enough of your vagueness. Explain yourself. The king's grip on the hilt of his sword tightens. Subway. The way I act in a relationship. So never... That would be awful. Well, sub. You would be a sub. <laughs> I was watching Bacon Mom and she muted me. I was only trying to be active in chat. Anyway, I'm back. Welcome back! Maybe you can call them to know what's up with the food? Also, that's mean to mute you. Like, I like, I like talking to people. Maybe you can call them to know what's up with the food? Oh, well, my, my phone's got turned off, so I, I can't do any phone calls. I'd have to ask my, my uncle if I could use it and I think he, he went to sleep. Cause we don't have a public phone anymore. What happened to his eye? Why, no, nothing, nothing's wrong with his eye. <laughs> Ordered a sweet onion chic teriyaki sandwich, asked for some green peppers on it. Opened the sandwich to see that they must have put two full freaking green peppers on my sandwich to the point that it was falling out. Oh my god. Like they didn't cut it up or anything? <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> For real though. Elio said that in the liar voice. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> my friend hating on VTubers. Wow, why? I'm not obliged to explain anything to you. Try thinking on your own for a change, your majesty. Mithros. Sir Mithros ignored the king's outburst and turned his attention to Waltz. He visibly stiffens and his sly smile contorts into a grimace. Wallace and Gromit. And look who we have here. I see that the traitor has returned to the palace. Waltz stares at him, looking puzzled. Sir Mithras tilts his head to the side and offers Waltz a lopsided smile. You still look the same as you did back then. I did not think it was possible for you to grow any weaker, Waltz Cresswell. Oh, that's his last name? Cresswell. Mithros, I see. I guess you could say that he got rocked. 
Or... See? Uh, what, what, what do I see? Okay, just saying, big crap. I personally love VTubers. Nice. Well, I am a VTuber, so I'm appreciative that you like VTubers. <laughs> Born! <laughs> Gotta be creative to have one and dedicated. Yep. <laughs> They sliced up the peppers. They just put the equivalent of two sliced up green peppers on my sandwich. Oh, wow. <laughs> Imagine liking VTubers out of my barn. <laughs> barn, do I need to remind you? <laughs> I am a VTuber. Wait, really? That's not your real body? Oh, yeah. No, this is... Well, well, honestly, though, in my actual lore, like, this isn't my real body. Well, I guess... Hold on. Okay. I guess in a way, you are seeing my real body. Hold on. This is my real body. This right here is my real body. But like, the, the human, the human looking thing isn't me. It's just a, I'm just a parasite. <laughs> There we go. The place they zoomed in on. <laughs> yeah, that, that's me. So I guess you are right. I guess you are right. <laughs> Scam. <laughs> YouTubers goaded. Yeah, in the pocket. You are right. <laughs> and you're dating a VTuber. That's pretty cringe. Elio is a bunny, not go. I'll take the goaded. I want to be goaded. Goaded with the sauce. Walt suddenly looks melancholy as he stares at Sir Mithros. Walt? What is going on? This man's real name is Myth. He's a witch, same as me. It appears that he's been using a powerful glamour to conceal his real identity. If I hadn't been cursed, I would have been able to tell right away. I would not give yourself so much credit, Cresswell. Walt narrowed his eyes, but says nothing. I glance between the two of them, confused. But how do you know him? He secretly worked for your mother. Practically worshipped her. I was the only other person who knew of his existence as a witch outside of the Tenebrarum Bearer. A witch? I trusted you, Mithros. The king says the words through gritted teeth, his face contorted in anger. Sir Mithras flicks a wrist. It's a dismissive gesture, and he still looks amused. What a hypocrite you are, your majesty. He eyes Waltz. You're willing to play nice with some witches, but not others. The bias is what drove us witches to madness in the first place. Sir Mithros faces the king with a grin. You human hypocrites are so easy to manipulate. It is pathetic. Mithros. The king charges towards Sir Mithras with his sword held high. Your majesty, don't! Oh shit, is our dad gonna die in this route? Oh god. The king's sword never touches Sir Mithros. Uh-oh. Sir Mithros only has to hold out his hand and suddenly an invisible force pushes the king back. Oh shit. Goaded with the Sasuke? <laughs> Kakashi on top? So not over Kishimoto only adding sass to his character description. <laughs> Better than adding sus to his character description. Sasuke is both sass and sus. I'll be back in another little bit when I'm done talking to my friend. Yeah, no problem. See you in a bit. Okay, but like, Sasuke is sus in its own way. Oh, no wonder they made us attached to dad. Yeah, are they gonna kill off our dad? The father dad? Well, we don't know if he's dead yet or not. We don't know. He might, he might still be alive. He crashes into one of my shelves, knocking down my dolls. That would suck. Get you attached to your character only to kill them off. <laughs> your majesty. I quickly run to his side and help him up. Thankfully, he does not seem to have any major wounds. I think there was a witch working in the palace the whole time. And not the good kind of witch either. I was too careless. Okay, he's still alive. He's still alive. He, he's not having a JoJo moment. 
Rejoice, your majesty. I still have more surprises for you. Also, hold on. I'm gonna go check on my food again. I'm sorry. I keep leaving like every 10 minutes to check on it. I just want that food, baby. phone sucks I don't I'm scared I'm scared like did the food get <laughs> delivered to different houses or something I'm so scared right now like because I don't have the phone updates anymore because my phone got shut off oh lord okay hold on oh let me see. Treat stream. Hasn't sent me an email that it got delivered at least. Let me see. That was two hours ago. My treats. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> A rock must be sturdy after all. I can't believe you're continuing with the rock jokes. Oh, wait. Yeah, I should probably get rid of the eye, huh? Because <laughs> it's no longer on that side. You forced my hand. Oh! Bop chat time? I'm surprised there's no option for like email or phone. Well, it, it does go to phone, but not, not email. <laughs> Alrighty. It's time to get bonked! Let's friggin' go, chat! A bunka bunka, and you're getting bonked with the table too. Let's friggin' go. Oh, you guys can see my head clipping through the. Hold on. Wait. There we go. There we go. All better. Maybe. Okay, this isn't. This ain't gonna work. It's fine, it's fine. Just just pretend you don't see it. Just pretend you don't see it, okay? Oh, oh, jack, 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 jack. Wait! <laughs> no! Don't do that! I'm sorry, Elliot, there's another twice taken me. It was fun while it lasted. I'm too caked up to die. My year-long fl plan finally worked. You've been trying to seduce Barn? Oi! A bonk isn't enough. A bonk is not enough. For that. Do I have anything? Do I have any weapons? Please tell me I have a weapon. I have no other weapon. Damn it. Okay, I'll get another weapon next time. Your your days are numbered, Twy. Your days are numbered. No, no, not seduce barn. Still barn from you specifically? NTR? You're trying to do NTR? Bruh. Trying, no, no, succeeding. Oi. How dare you? He said my names are numbered. It's in my name, Elliot. 
Oi, oi. NNTR. I'll never forgive this betrayal, Mithros. I'll never forgive this betrayal, Twy! Betrayal? I'm afraid you've been played for a fool this entire time, your majesty. My loyalty has always been reserved for Lady Hildir and no one else. Myth, I can't imagine what you would hope to gain from all this. Hildir is long gone. Okay, well... If, if Barn's gonna be with Twy, then I'm just gonna devote myself to, to 2D. I'm gonna marry Waltz. I'm gonna be like that guy that married Miku. Sir Mithros' eyes flash as he turns a severe glare on Waltz. His voice is seething with venom as he speaks. Had it not been for you, traitor, she would still be here. The king mentioned Waltz's betrayal. So Mithras called him a traitor. What exactly did Waltz do? Sir Mithras beckons me forward with a gesture of his hand. No, if you please, princess. Come with us if you don't want them to get hurt. Waltz immediately stands in front of me. I won't let you take her. In your current form, you don't stand a chance. But we've got Neverland and Tinkerbell. I'll make certain that you never break your curse, Waltz. This whole thing was a setup. A trap. I'm sorry, Waltz. This is my fault. No, it was mine. The reason we came was to break my curse. My eyes once again flit to the box on the floor. Neverland is just a few steps away from me. Neverland! Waltz's eyes follow mine to the box. He leans back and whispers to me. You have to get the box and break my curse. I feel for the key inside my pocket. If Waltz's true magic is indeed sealed in that box, then releasing it might give us a chance at victory. And Mithros and Varg do not seem to have caught on to the fact that the object that will break Waltz's curse is right at their feet. Okay. The king moves to stand beside Waltz and draws his sword again. His body is shield- Oh, Elio, the eye. Oops. Okay. This gag has run its course. Okay, go goodbye. Goodbye, rock eye. Your majesty. I will not let you take this girl. You will have to go through me first. You can't do this! Lucette, I've always loved that name. I thought if I ever had a daughter, I would give her that name. Aww. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, I'd bonk you to the moon if I could. Bonk me to the moon. Let me play among the starry bunny boy. <laughs> Magic makes even the impossible possible. Magic is the courage. <laughs> courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. Wow, I really flubbed that sentence. You must truly be my daughter, yes? Tears start to blur my vision. Oh, how disgustingly touching. Seems as if I will just have to deal with you first. No! I rush towards the box at the same moment uh, at the same moment Mithros casts his spell. Varg lunges towards me, his hands reaching for me. But he's too late. By the time he grabs me, I've already inserted the key into Neverland. I give it one definitive twist and hear the clink of the box as it pops open. White flashes through the room, blinding me. Suddenly, I feel a strong arm around me, holding me tightly, protectively. When I open my eyes, it's Waltz I see. Even several years older, I still recognize him. <laughs> hey, let's go! Oh, look at that CG, baby! I really like Lucette's expression here. It's really nice. 
Waltz? Hey there, little star. Seems like the tide has turned, Myth. Oh, I'm, okay, okay. All right, all right, okay. The, the green, at, at first I was like, okay, nah, I actually liked Myth better when he looked younger, but that, that green, that green though, Waltz grins and I see a confidence in his expression that I've never seen before. Sir Mithras's frown has only become more severe. Fool, I will show you that I was the favored apprentice. Be careful not to hurt the princess, Mithros. Bug's voice is almost teasing, but Sir Mithros doesn't seem to care. I can't believe you wanted Waltz to stay young. I'm sorry! Waltz? No, I'm more into disco. I'm into waltz. I'ma have a waltz with waltz. A nice romantic waltz with waltz. <laughs> I can't with your puns. It hurts. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> Twy. Why? Because I'm thirsty? I mean, I am. Listen, disco is just my Elysium, bro. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Are my puns too frequent? In that case, it also hurts. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> I didn't plan on it. Sermithros gestures his hands in a, in a sweeping gesture. The beginnings of a spell gather at his fingertips. Holtz looks at me and smiles reassuringly. Now, when I say that I can protect you, Lucette, I definitely can. Let's friggin' go! Waltz hold out, holds out his hand just before Sir Mithros's magic reaches us. An invisible barrier suddenly appears in front of us, thwarting Sir Mithros's magic. You can't, can't. I believe that means you can, can't. <laughs> no! Please stop, I beg of you. <laughs> Me an overtaker. Hating the puns, handshake. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are on a roll tonight. Seems like I'm not as rusty as I thought I would be. Walt snaps his fingers and effortlessly creates a dark wave that pushes both Sir Mithras and Vogue to the wall. I would never stop with the puns. <laughs> Ugh. Let's go. What do we do now? The Order of Caldera. They are sworn to an oath of protection. We can rely on them. Waltz glances down the hallway, his mouth drawn in a tight line. I see clear suspicion in his eyes. I look back at the king. The knights should have been here by now. Surely such a commotion should have brought them running. I only stop for stop signs, and even then, it's only a rolling stop because I was taught to drive by a maniac. <laughs> no, don't you do a rolling stop! Bruh. Who the hell taught you how to drive? Now I know why Waltz is staring down the hallway. He's searching for the knights that are meant to pass through here. There's no possible way that they didn't hear the skirmish in my bedroom. Three of us push onward. I stand between the king and Waltz, waiting. Night is already here. Don't you see the stars, Lisette? Yeah, it's a very nice, very nice night. Wonder if we can see Altair from here. I'm not entirely sure what I'm waiting for, but I can feel the tension in the air. We only stop moving when a voice cuts through the silence. I know, it's Antares. That's it. Wait, no, isn't Altair a star too? Yeah, Altair's a star. Okay, yeah. I was right. Okay. I know my stars. Sir Alcaster stops before us with a group of knights. His face is impassive at best. Waltz takes a step back as Sir Alcaster looks to the king. I was taught by someone one step above Utah drivers. Someone from California. Oh, God. Were they from Stockton? 
or Los Angeles or San Francisco, cause oh lordy. The king is quiet for a few moments, his eyebrows drawn together in a terse expression. He finally speaks. I'm about to declare a state of emergency. Where have you been? Seize them. Oh shit. Betrayal. <laughs> All right, but I do think I'm gonna end here for the night. I, I wanted to wait to get my food and like munch on it on stream so I can talk about how good it is, but I'll update you guys on how good the sandwich was whenever I get it. <laughs> Both of these groups of people would be able to hit a car on the far left side of an empty parking lot. Did you get your food at least? I'll check. Uh, if I don't get it within like an hour, I will message you on... Oh, well, I'm assuming it was you, Twy. I'm assuming you're the one that got me the, the treat. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't assume, but... Uh, Within an hour, if I don't get it, I, I will DM you and so so you can try and get your money back. Thanks for the stream, no problem! And thank you for the headbats. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Overtaker. Have a good night, you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning with some, uh... Don't starve together with kippies. Yeah. Let's see how tired I am tomorrow. Let's go, baby. Bye-bye. See you later.